Hello everyone, um, today we're going to cover some conditionals on PHP, so we're going to start with the if statement. So if statement has the following uh, syntax, which is like we're going to have an if statement, we're going to open brackets and close brackets, and then uh, we're going to have an expression between these um, parentheses. So let's put an expression. Let's put, for example, if five is greater than three, uh, we should print on the browser um, something like simple, something like uh, mm, greater. Let's put greater. And then this expression, if this expression in, in here is true, we're going to print this following statement. So let's, let's see that. First of all, uh, we need to save this and let's run it. And then we have the, the, the greater. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty simple. We have to use brackets and we need to parentheses after the if. It doesn't matter if we put space between the if or spaces, Wait. spaces, spaces, just to make it to uh, make it more readable. It doesn't matter. So it's just gonna uh, we're gonna have the we're going to have the same result. And now uh, let's add an else statement. So if this statement is false, we're going to we're going to um, um, we want to print something else. For example, if the expression and if is false, we want to have the following. So we're gonna put echo, and let's put this less. Less, greater and less. Okay. So now we change this to six. We should print less. Oh, I forgot the semicolon, never forget about that. So let's run it again and we print less. Now uh, we're gonna we're going to print a different type of statement. So here we have an if and an else. And now we're gonna have we're going to have here uh, an else if statement. So how do we do this? So in this case, we're going to have several conditions, or we can have, a, well, we're going to have more than uh, two conditions. More than two conditions. So for example, in this uh, this first example, we have the if, and this is false, and this is false. Uh, we execute this statement, but we're going, in on the if statement, we're going to have another, um, another statement to evaluate. For example, let's see, let's do this. If let's put a this declare a variable number equal to ten, uh -huh. yes, sounds good. And then let's create an if open brackets, close brackets, and then let's put if number is is greater than a hundred let's print something like excellent else if parentheses open brackets close brackets if um, number is equal to a uh, ten we're going to print something like um, uh, don't forget your semicolons well, average and then find and let's put another one uh, um, else echo we're just going to print we're going to print 
but so let's see what happens here so basically in theory we should have we should uh, the browser uh, on the browser we should have this average but first of all uh, we need uh, to print an empty line so let's print it here so it's going to be echo rotations open close and then PR. We save it and we we'll run it. And that's what we're supposed to get. And then if we change this to, uh, let's see, a thousand, we go here, bang, boom, excellent. If we change this to a negative number, let's see, minus one, we should have this printed on the browser. Boom, bad. Okay, that's an if and else statement. The next statement will be switch. For example, let's say that we have this statement called, um, well, not this statement, well, this variable called day. And then let's declare this variable equal to Tuesday. Why Tuesday? I don't know. It's just because. And then we're going to use switch. How do we use switch in this case? Okay, more space here. So we just write a key, we type the keyboard switch. We enter, I think we have to enter parentheses and then we put um, dollar sign, day, we open and close brackets and inside of the brackets we want, we want to put our cases. Uh, oh, let's, instead of, instead of, uh, a string let's put number okay I remember let's put two for here and then let's put case one so this means if the variable day is equals to one so one we're going to print echo um, Monday let's say and then we want to we're going to type our break statement and then we have our case 2 and then if we have if, well, if, if the value on the in the variable day is equal to 2 we're going to print uh, Tuesday and so on. Let's do. It's gonna be like that. And we, uh, we all, we also going to have on the switch statements a default part, which, which means it, well, we have to add our break statement here. So which means if, well, if um, the value for our day variable is not equal to one, or n is also not equal to two. Uh, this default is gonna take care of that. So we're gonna print some. We're, we're going to print something like um, nothing. Break. And then let's see what happens. So in this, well, in theory, we should uh, we should print this. Okay. Let's see if it works correctly. What happened here? Bit 27 default. Ah, okay, I forgot the colons. Let's do it again. Bam, bam. Boom, it worked. But well, we need to print an empty line here. Echo. Boom, boom. This is how we uh, print an empty line. We save it and we refresh it. Done. Okay. And this will be the conditional statements. And let's write some um, expressions. For example, Boolean expressions. For example, we can. Um, for example, um, let's say that we have a variable named b1 for value one, and then we can declare it true, and let's print the content of this value. Of this variable, sorry. Right? 
and as you see here, oh, let me put it again at empty line. Oh, I forgot the semicolon again. It's a common mistake when you're programming on PHP. See, uh, we're printing one. And let's say we print false. Okay, we don't print anything. So, what's going on here? So on PHP, if you print, if you if you uh, if you print the value true, the browser is going to interpret that as a one. If you are uh, trying to print um, a value a variable that contains a false in a store, um, where basically the browser is not going to um, show you anything, so it's just empty. It's probably undefined or something like that. Okay, and um, yes, I think that will be it for this video. Let me see. We cover some if, else if, and else if, and switch. And also we cover some uh, true and false. Okay, so I think that will be it. Thank you. See you next time.